Is this really, 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 really going to be your last Star Wars appearance? I sure hope so. Nerdrotic.com. Welcome back to Nerdrotic. My name is Gary Beekler, and I come to you from Nerdrotic.com. And this is a very quick Star Wars video. I rarely do one. Can't promise too many more in the future. But uh, living here on the outer edges of the fandom menace in the Doctor Who Star Trek division, yes, I used to be a giant Star Wars fan. Had been for decades. I remember a time before there was Star Wars. I remember when it was released. I bought all the action figures. I had Bantha tracks. I was in the fan club since uh, I was a wee little boy. And I enjoyed the hell out of it. Not a prequel fan. But after seeing Disney Star Wars, I appreciate them slightly more, but not much. I still think they mostly suck. But they're not as bad as Disney Star Wars. Disney Star Wars is proof that a soulless corporation can't make anything with soul. And Star Wars requires soul. The fandom has it, but the creatives do not. Now, you know, I'm not talking about in the lower levels. The big decision makers. Uh, they just treat it as a Star Wars widget. J.J. Uh, Abrams produced literally a Star Wars widget and Rian Johnson set everything on fire with his perfectly round head. So there we are. I walked out of The Last Jedi with a headache saying I would never give uh, Disney uh, or anything Star Wars my money again. And I have kept to that. I gave away all my action figures to my patrons. I am done with it. So, yes, my feelings are non-existent. They are apathy. That is it. Uh, but something twinged today when I saw a Collider article with Mark Hamill. Mark Hamill hopes he's done with Star Wars after the rise of Skywalker. Well, I think he is, and who could blame him? But hearing that, it really sums up everything that's happened. So for all you people who say everything's going great with Star Wars, Mark Hamill hopes he's done with Star Wars after the rise of Skywalker. Just let that sink in. Since Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker has long been touted as the ninth and final installment in the course Skywalker saga of Star Wars films, it should be without saying that the character who started it all, Luke Skywalker, will be well and truly wrapping up his story. And it also goes without saying, but I'll say it anyway, that the, for the people in the back, that franchise star Mark Hamill will also be bidding a fond, I'm not so sure fond, farewell to the title that made him a household name. This doesn't look like a fond farewell. It looks very bitter. It looks very sad. It looks very tragic for Mark and the fandom. If this were any other franchise save the comic book movies, Hamill's send-off would have ended with The Last Jedi thanks to his heroic... Not so sure. Actually, it was cowardice, but it wasn't Mark Hamill's fault. It was due to the perfectly round-headed hack of a writer, Rian Johnson. Last stand of sorts and his heartfelt, again, full stop, that was not heartfelt. No, it was heartbreaking. It was a stab in the heart, followed by mockery from Rian Johnson. Heartfelt goodbye to all those near and dear to him. But because Star Wars is Star Wars, nope. Hard stop again. Star Wars is not Star Wars. I think a lot of people have made it abundantly clear this is Disney Star Wars. This is not Star Wars. It's a completely different brand that just happens to share the same letters as the previous brand. And they put them in the same order and they make them look pretty much the same. But that's it. And all the force-attuned Jedi Masters have a way of drifting back into the story as wisdom-dispensing force ghosts. Fans have assumed that Hamill would return for one last slightly transparent appearance. Well, in a new video interview, Hamill himself seems to confirm as much. Is this really, 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 really going to be your last Star Wars appearance? I sure hope so. <laughs> uh, why? <laughs> well, because, you know, I mean, I had closure in the last one, you know? I mean, the only, the fact that I'm involved in any capacity is only because of that peculiar aspect of the Star Wars mythology where if you're a Jedi, you get to come back and make a curtain call as a force ghost. First of all, is that a grown ass man asking him if he's really, really dunsy onesy with Star Wars? Second, look at how flippant that comment is. Look at how little Mark cares. Look at how sad this is. They are just 
done. I bet you he was so excited when this whole thing started out, when he signed the deal with Lucas and thought things were going to be great. And look at how it turned out. You know, I imagine this is what it would be like if the Beatles had gotten back together. And it's a good thing they didn't. I think we see an example of you can't go home again. And it is just sad. A giant soulless corporation, which on paper looked like the best ones possible to carry on the Star Wars legacy, absolutely destroyed it and can't wait to get rid of the original three. I'm glad Hamill will get a chance to distance himself from Star Wars. Red Letter Day, I'm agreeing with Collider on this one. And focus on his voice acting career. After The Rise of Skywalker arrives this December 20th, which will be a very interesting time in YouTube, not really in the theaters though, the man has dedicated his life to the role and its millions of fans, but he's also done a tone of other worthy work, I think you meant ton, in the years since. It'll presumably be nice for him to transition away from the endless barrage of Star Wars questions, though I guarantee that since Disney will keep this force train rolling for decades, not so sure about that, to come, he'll also likely be involved in some capacity with future projects. Time will tell. Time will tell is a mantra around here. A lot of us are just going to have to sit back and wait and watch some of our favorite franchises fall to pieces. Star Wars, Star Trek, Marvel Comics, Doctor Who, just to name a few. So when it comes to the poorly titled The Rise of Skywalker, it certainly looks like J.J. brought him back just so people would think he was actually in the movie more than he really is, and I think Mark is trying to tell us that. It looks like he's only in the movie for a minute or two. Now I understand why J.J. was working so hard to get that half a billion dollar deal done with Warner Brothers before The Rise of Skywalker comes out. There are many facets to Star Wars and there's many ways Disney can make money off it, but the one that makes the most money, the one that is the most universally loved, the one based on the Skywalker saga, the one based on the original trilogy, and that just went out with a whimper. Is this really, 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 really gonna be your last Star Wars appearance? I sure hope so. Nerderotic.com, please subscribe.